from shrapnel when the blast emits from the barracks. TZO. Spit it off the Richter when I hit it. Everybody listen, they can feel it. I'm a little bit. Hey, what's going on guys? This is Abia Babu from TZO Strength, co-founder. I'm um, also one of the top trainers here. Um, I'm also an elite power lifter and I've been lifting since about 2008. So it's, it's, I've had a decent amount of exercise, sports and things like that under my belt. And with that, I actually wanted to come out with this video for people that are new to just working out in general, any type of working out, whether that's running or lifting or stuff like that and just how to get into it. Um, or how to get into fitness per se. Um, and just to start off with that, I actually wanted to describe what fitness is. And at least to me, I feel like fitness is training your body to be optimal for a specific physical goal that you have in your mind. Um, for some people, that could be something as crazy as wanting to squat a thousand pounds. Um, to other people, that could be something simple like being able to walk with your children and you know go to the park and do things like that. Um, this can be like a, a lifting goal, an aesthetic goal, which means you know how you look. It could be a uh, you know like endurance or running or something like that, or just like a health goal in general. Like you're trying to drop your blood pressure, um, something like that. And that's what uh, fitness is to me in general. It's a very uh, just a very broad spectrum. Um, and one of the first things I do want to point out when you are getting into fitness is I want you to acknowledge that it's going to be a lifestyle change. And I want to say that because when something's a lifestyle change, you want it to be something that can hold on. It's not just going to be something you're going to do for two weeks and then take the rest of the year off. And then when New Year starts, you're going to do it again. Um, and honestly, I feel like the reason a lot of people end up going through that cycle is they try to jump into things very hard and they try to push things that they are really not ready for. Like, you know, when you're first starting to exercise, you don't want to be going to the gym for three hours, six times a week. Uh, you know, I've been lifting for almost 10 years and I don't even go to the gym that often. Um, you really want to find a way to adapt your exercise schedule to your current schedule because the easier it fits into your schedule, the easier it'll be to hold on to it. Um, so something simple would be like, let's say if you're someone with erratic schedule that it's, you know, it's not very regular, but you have brief, like let's say two hours of free time here, two hours of free time there. You could be somebody that just goes to the gym, like maybe, or goes to exercise maybe six times a week, but there are six like 30 minute workouts, you know, so it's not something crazy. You literally just, you go in, you come out, or you could be somebody who has like more free time in certain times where they just prefer to work out, you know, very heavy, very hard for maybe three times a week or four times a week. Um, you could do something like that where maybe you're training, you know, an hour and a half or a few times a week as opposed to just doing very erratic quick workouts. Um, either way, you want to make sure it's something that you can, that you're enjoying doing to an extent, uh, it's something that you can manage doing over a long period of time and something that's just going to be fun to you because if it's not, you're not going to hold on to it. And like I said, there's no point of just doing something for two weeks and then quitting because it was too hard and you made it a lot harder than it needs to be for yourself. Another thing when it comes to getting into fitness and finding a goal that you want to go after is you want to find, you know, a trainer or a mentor or a coach, somebody that can help you get to the goal that you want you know it doesn't have to be something crazy it can literally just be somebody that's been working out for a year and they might know a little bit about what they're doing just to kind of get you started um, but one thing i do want to point out is you want to make sure that it's somebody that to an extent knows what they're talking about and knows what they're doing um, and that's just for safety sake you know you don't want to just be going after somebody that doesn't know what they're doing um, and maybe they just have really great genetics so anything they do works for them but then if you try to do the same thing you can get hurt or really injured uh, so you do want to find somebody that knows more than you that can push you to help you kind of keep going towards what you're trying to achieve make sure that they know how to do that um, you know you wouldn't want to get like a you know, a, a running coach for a powerlifting meet. So just make sure that you find somebody that really knows what they're doing. You know, you've seen that they've been able to help people or they've been able to at least like change themselves for the better, um, you know, and stick with them, listen to them, and just kind of trust that they'll be able to help you out. Um, another thing I want to touch on is nutrition. And I don't want to, I'm not really going to get into depth on in terms of how you should eat. But I will say that you want to make sure, same thing like with the exercise, you don't want to be pushing yourself to just, you know, eating salads and chicken breast all day because that's what you heard is the healthiest foods for you. Um, you want to start off just, first you want to start looking into the different types of diets. I'm going to post a picture right here that just talks about like, that just names different diets so you can have some ideas in your head so you can go research. 
Um, and honestly, you just want to find a diet, or not necessarily diet, but like a, a method of eating that would work for you. Um, like me per personally, um, when I'm dieting or something like that, I prefer to go, you know, with more carbs, um, you know, lower fat and high protein. And that's just what I like to eat in terms of the types of food that I enjoy eating. I enjoy eating stuff like steak, um, a lot of meat, I enjoy eating a lot of rice, pasta, stuff like that. So I just found a diet that adapts to me. I've had friends that do, you know, no carb diets. I have friends that do low carb. I know people that do, um, you know, just all different types of diets. And honestly, all these different methods of eating are going to work as long as you're sticking within the spectrum of what your calorie total should be. Um, whether that means you're trying to gain weight, you want to, you just want to make sure you're in a surplus. If you want to lose weight, you just want to make sure you're in a deficit. And outside of that, really how you're eating is very, it's second to your calorie intake overall. So just find a method of eating that you're going to enjoy. You know, if you're someone that just really enjoys fatty foods, you know, maybe look into a higher fat diet with lower carbs or something like that. But you want to make sure, just like with the exercise, that it adapts to your lifestyle. And just start off with making, once you find out the type of eating you want to go for, just slowly make your steps towards it. You know, you can start off by something simple like, you know, getting a diet soda instead of a regular soda. You know, you'll be saving some calories here. It's not going to be something crazy for you. And then maybe the next time, you know, you get that grilled chicken sandwich instead of the crispy chicken sandwich. And just make little changes like that. You know, don't focus on being perfect. Just focus on here and there, you know, getting better and better choices. Um, eventually, you'll be towards the goal that you have. Um, and what, the thing I want to close out with is something that's really helped me uh, stay with training this often and stuff like that. And it's just finding a friend or a group of friends that all have the same type of goal um, or at least the same type of work ethic that you do towards uh, uh, fitness or what you want or you, what you want to achieve in fitness. Um, and that just really helps because there's going to be times where you don't want to exercise or you, you know, you'd want to just go binging for a week or even times where you're pushing yourselves way too hard and you can't notice it, you'll be able to have a friend there that'll tell you, hey, you know, get back on the horse or maybe you need a break or, you know, take today off, it's okay. You know, you'll have somebody there as just to kind of, uh, to be that shoulder to, to keep you up through the fitness journey that you're gonna embark on. Um, so honestly, that's everything. If you guys have any more questions for me, I'll have my contact information either in the description or right here on the page. Um, feel free to reach out. I'll answer to the best of my knowledge. If I don't know the answers to some of the questions, I'll guide you towards somebody that does. Um, thank you for watching. We'll have more content coming out soon. Make sure to like, make sure to share this with your friends, especially people that you know are trying to get into exercising and just being healthier and living a healthier lifestyle. And have a great day, guys.